Have you ever wanted to get the current dividend yield of a company in your spreadsheet? Or better yet, to get the dividend payment history of a stock? In this video, I'm going to share with you a free dividend Excel spreadsheet that provides you with this information automatically. And if you watch until the end of this video, I'm going to show you how the spreadsheet works and most importantly, how it is that you can get it for free. Okay, so as you can see, this is the dividend Excel sheet. It's fairly simple, but at the same time, it's very helpful. And this is the coolest part. So here we have Apple as a company that we're analyzing the dividends for. But then you can change this to another company. So we'll do Coke. And as you can see, the cool thing is that all of the data will be automatically updated for you. And now before we get into how you can get the dividend Excel sheet and all this other stuff, I want to show you exactly how this template works so that you know how to use it better and you can also modify it to be able to suit your specific needs. Okay, the best way to show you how the dividend Excel sheet works is for me to recreate the template from scratch. So first we're going to start with the current dividend yield of the company. So the way you do that is very simple. So I'm going to use the wise function and this comes with the Y sheets add in that allows you to get uh, historical fundamentals, scheme metrics, financials, dividend data, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And so the way it works is quite simple. So you enter the symbol, then it's going to ask you for the parameter. The parameter in this case is going to be the dividend yield. So we're going to enter dividend yield. And by the way, we have entire guides on how Y sheets works and how you can use it. You can check out uh, some of those on our channel as well. Then we're going to enter the period. So in this case, the period is going to be TTM. This is the trailing 12 months, which means the actual dividend yield right now based on the last dividend paid and the current stock price. You're going to click enter. And as you can see, this is how you get the dividend yield. And now what we're going to do is fill the rest of the spreadsheet. So the main thing that we're missing now are these two important numbers. And the way those are calculated is based on all the data that was here before, if you remember. So first we need to get that data. And the way we do that is using the wise price function. We're going to enter the symbol. And then here we're going to enter dividend. And what this is going to return is all the dividend payment history of that particular company. Close bracket. And as you can see, this will return the date, the dividend, adjusted dividend, payment date, declaration date. And as you can see, this data goes back quite a bit long ago. So this is great. And now what we're going to do is we can fill some of this information out. So the expected dividend per share, that depends if you're gonna add any growth to the current dividend payment, but in this case, I'm gonna assume that it's gonna stay the same. And this is why it is important to calculate the dividend growth rate, which we're gonna do right now. There's different ways to calculate the dividend growth rate of a particular company. The way that I was using and that I want to show you in this video is using the for the following formula. So first you're going to do equals, then you're going to select the dividend and we're going to calculate the percentage change from the previous dividend payment. So in that case, you're going to do this, Put this in brackets and then divide it by the previous and that should give you the growth, the percentage change growth. So in this case, we can see it's 0%. We're going to double click so that it auto fills for all these different numbers. And as you can see, there's no much going on because the company dividend payments are pretty steady. So that's why you don't see a lot of growth now. The dividend growth rate in the past five years, what we could do is uh, take an average. And again, you can change these numbers yourself too if, if you want to do it any other way. So of the past five years, so 2022 minus five. So we're going to do this all the way to 2017 to the last payment. So right here, close the bracket, enter. And as you can see, this is exactly all that you need to do to be able to recreate this uh, dividend Excel sheet. 
Now, instead of recreating the spreadsheet from scratch, what you can do is by using the Y Sheets add-on again, if you go to uh, Wise Templates, you're gonna be able to find the dividend. So here, dividend payment analysis, Excel. So you're gonna click here and what that's gonna do is it's gonna download this specific template. And by the way, this is completely free. Once you create a free Y Sheets account, you're gonna be able to access all of this other templates as well. And if you wanna know more about how the Y Sheets add-on works, again, we have tutorials on how to be able to use it to make better investment decisions. The only thing you need to know is that if you want to get the data automatically on the free version of Y Sheet, you're going to be able to do it for a limited number of companies. But if you want to be able to do it for all the different companies across all the different exchanges that Y Sheets covers, that's when you need a Y Sheets premium account. And don't worry, this is pretty affordable right now. It's about $60 per year. And it's going to allow you to get all the different data that you need right on your spreadsheet. So that's it. Now you know how to get all the dividend stock data that you need on your Excel spreadsheet. And by the way, the same method also applies to Google Sheets. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel so you get notified every time we release a new video like this. That's going to allow you to become a better stock market investor and most importantly, allow you to get closer towards achieving your own financial goals. I'll see you in the next one.